child abuse. It's one of the worst things that could possibly happen to any child. Childhood is the time to learn, develop, understand, and be nurtured into a happy and healthy adult. If this important time in a child's life is wasted, or worse, abused, then it could lead to serious consequences down the road. According to the Humane Society, neglect is the most common form of abuse, and it is just as bad as physical or mental abuse. If a child is neglected for the majority of its life, then it will grow up believing that it is not worth anything. Children who are abused are more likely to grow up scared, timid, shy, and meek. They are less likely to speak out about their abusers for fear of being blamed or not believed. Throughout the years, our society has strived to eliminate abuse by implementing acts and laws that would punish any abuser severely and possibly save many children's lives, such as the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act. Think about the children in your lives, your niece, your nephew, your little sister, or even your own child. You have the chance to interact with children at least a couple times a month, and just speaking up if you see something worrying could quite literally save a life. In 2014, just over 700,000 children were reported to be victims of physical maltreatment. Think about that, 700,000 children. If a kindergarten class could roughly hold 25 students, then it would take 28,000 classes to hold that amount of children. So what does child abuse look like? Is it a silent killer or is it right under our own nose? Often, children who have been abused have extreme nightmares and fears and can have sudden and unexplainable mood swings involving anger, rage, withdrawal, and fear. Any unexplained bruises may also be a major warning sign. Fear of being with strangers or even at home are another indicator. If you are worried about anything for any reason, it is important to speak up. Talk to the child and try to understand what has happened to them. Allow them to explain what they have to say, and above all, believe them and assure them that whatever has happened is not their fault. The most important part is reporting any suspected harm of a child to Child Protective Services immediately. Even if it is a gut instinct, that could be enough to save a child's life. Remember, this isn't just about having a normal childhood. It's about having a chance at a normal life.